Microsoft Surface Pro 8 is reigned supreme as the best detachable 2-in-1 laptop around, and made its way to our list of best laptops overall. It's a redesign that brought slimmer display bezels and a larger 13-inch display, along with faster components and Thunderbolt 4 ports. The Surface Pro 8 has some new competition, though. Dell has announced the first detachable tablet in its XPS line, replacing the previous 360-degree convertible appearance. The XPS 13 2-in-1 offers Intel 12th Gen CPUs and a competitive appearance. Can it overtake the Surface Pro 8? We noted that the Surface Pro 8 looked very similar to the Surface Pro 7, unlike the redesign the Dell XPS series has gone through. The tablet section is a simple slate with slightly rounded edges, coming with a built-in kickstand that can be used to prop up the tablet at various angles. We felt that the metal frame felt well-built and offered next to no flex when pressed, with a stylish matte finish that does, unfortunately, seem to pick up fingerprint smudges and small scratches easily. In terms of ports, the Surface Pro 8 has USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port. We were thrilled to see Microsoft finally including a Thunderbolt connector on a Surface device, as it will allow users to connect multiple 4K displays and pack faster transfer speeds. Other than the Thunderbolt 4 port, there is also a headphone jack. We really like the Surface Pro 8 signature keyboard and slim pen 2 active style when we reviewed it. The keyboard was comfortable to write on and packs a carbon fiber layer, also coming with a docker the slim pen, which previously was not available. Both tablets have similar 13-inch 3x2, 3K or 2880x1920 pixel touch displays. In our testing, the Surface Pro 8's version was bright at 405 nits, offered average color width at 99% of the sRGB gamut, and 79% of the Adobe RGB gamut, and good accuracy at a delta E of 1.29. Its contrast just exceeded our preferred 1000 by 1 ratio at 1010 by 1. It's a great display for productivity work and consuming media, but its colors aren't quite white enough for serious creative work. The Surface Pro 8's display also supports a refresh rate of 120Hz, making Windows 11 a smoother experience. Bell touts 500 nits of brightness for the XPS 13 2-in-1, with 100% sRGB coverage, and an 1800 by one contrast ratio. We'll have to test the display with our calorimeter to be sure, but these numbers imply slightly better performance than Microsoft's display. We're not sure about the display's refresh rate, but for now, we'll assume it's a pedestrian 60Hz. The Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 equips Intel's latest 12th gen CPUs, specifically the lower power U series Core i5 to 1230U and Core i7 to 1250U. These are 10 core, 12 thread CPUs running at a base power of 9 watts, with the Core i7 being clocked faster than the Core i5. We haven't benchmarked this processor yet, so we can't compare its performance to the 11th gen 28 watt, 4 core 8 thread Core i5 to 1135G7, and Core i7 to 1185G7 CPUs in the Surface Pro 8. Across the board, the Surface Pro 8 with the Core i7 was competitive with other 11th gen laptops, but fell behind newer machines with the Core i7 to 1260p, a 12 core, 4 performance a date efficient, 16 thread CPU running at 28 watts. We're looking forward to pitting the XPS 13 2 in 1 against the Surface Pro 8 to see if Intel's lower power CPUs can keep up with faster previous gen processors. Both tablets utilize Intel's IRC graphics. We haven't noticed any significant improvement in the 12th gen version, and so neither 2 in 1 is going to do more than play less demanding games at lower resolutions and graphics settings. The Surface Pro 8 starts at $900 for a Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 128 gig solid state drive. It tops out at $2,600 for a Core i7. 32 gigs of RAM, and a 1TB SSD. It, therefore, ranges from affordable to extremely expensive. The XPS 13 2-in-1 will be launched in summer 2022. Dell has yet to confirm pricing. Which tablet do you think would be better? Write your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and see you soon.